Turkey or fish? Which do my dogs prefer? In this video you find out. Enjoy. That right there are four beautiful fish and uh, three partial turkey carcasses. We've got my beautiful long-coated German Shepherd Lobo, Lycan Shepherd Ulu, Renaissance Bulldog, 12 months old uh, Magi, and uh, Wrecker, and uh, of course uh, my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. This is going to be a uh, pack feeding video, uh, pack bong as I've uh, coined. We're going to find out which my dogs prefer, fish or turkey. Let's see what Lobo prefers. Looks like Lobo uh, prefers the turkey. For those who will ask why are the dogs in the kennel, my dogs all live in the house. They're merely in the kennel so I can shoot the beginning of uh, this video and uh, distribute the food. Just a moment. Well, the food's distributed. Lobo, because he's the oldest, gets first choice. Because age has its privileges here, we're gonna let the others out. Let's see what happens. I will say this beforehand. This is a pack building exercise. I let use these to let the dogs establish a pack order amongst them. And uh, I sit here and uh, monitor it uh, to make sure that uh, nothing happens. I find that this uh, allows me to uh, keep the dogs I have like this, especially unneutered male dogs in a group uh, with no fights. Uh, that's just been my experience, but don't take my word for it. I'm just some guy on YouTube. turkey. Looks like everybody chose the turkey, what do you know? Well, I guess we answered early on which they prefer. Now all the food is thawed. Raw bones are perfectly safe and healthy for your dogs. It's only cooked bones that are dangerous. I've left uh, plenty of vet links in the video description that uh, will verify that for you. You don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with dogs. 36% of dogs carry salmonella. That's a natural part of their gut flora.
was a long-coated German Shepherd from Working Lines. Both of his parents come from Easy Brook Kennels in Pennsylvania. I had a friend who owned a male and a female from them, and uh, I got Lobo through them. Kurgan is a Blue Bay Shepherd from Southern Breeze Kennels in Florida. His parents there are Frosted Rider. Magi is the sister to Wrecker, and uh, they're both 12 months old Renaissance Bulldogs. The Renaissance Bulldog is a breed I've spent the last uh, 25 plus years uh, developing. It's a healthy, athletic uh, breed of working Bulldog. No, don't feel sorry for any dogs that might not get as much food as others when you're doing when I'm doing this. This is a uh, pack bonding exercise. Those that don't get as much food will get fed other food later today. They were pretty watching a bulldog eat. <laughs> so as I talk about in all my exercises, I like to pet and handle my dogs when they're eating prevents things like uh, food aggression. As I say in all my videos, I'm a former animal warden and one of my jobs used to be dealing with uh, bite victims and the dogs that do it. And uh, I find this to be a very important exercise, especially if you have children. He's like, leave me alone, I just wanna eat. But you can see I can handle him, touch by his face, everything, he doesn't mind. He might not like it, but he doesn't register uh, any kind of aggression or anything. And this is that puppy that was extremely aggressive in that uh, puppy food aggression video series of mine. And you can see now I can do whatever I want. And Manchai as well. She was the other puppy in that puppy food aggression series. And you can see my methods there work and they uh, create a very uh, evenly temperamented dog that uh, anyone can handle. And there's Lobo. And of course, the big man Kurgan. Good boy. It's very important to start doing that with your dogs from the time they're a puppy. Again, you want to desensitize them to uh, human contact while they're eating. I believe by using my method, I find you create a lot better temperamented dog uh, when it comes to uh, food aggression than uh, using the method of taking their food away and giving it back to them. I want them to realize that I'm not competition for their food and so they don't have to worry about that. I've already given them the food. Now you might disagree with my thoughts on that, that's okay. There's more than one way to skin a cat so to speak and uh, I don't 
claim that uh, I'm an authority on anything. This is just what I find uh, after owning dogs for uh, over 30 years, being an animal warden for uh, two decades, and uh, creating my own breed of dog over the last 25 years works for me. <laughs> That's Kurgan telling Wrecker that's his fish. And that's perfectly healthy canine behavior. To step in right there at that point is a mistake. You want to let the dogs establish amongst themselves. If that escalated into something, then I would step in. And you can see I have three unneutered male dogs in this yard, all eating raw food. Along with a couple of uh, unspayed females. And uh, absolutely no issues. You don't need to neuter your dog to uh, make them not aggressive and able to be around other uh, male uh, unneutered dogs socialize them. Director Tell and Magi, those crumbs on the ground from Ulu are his. <laughs> mm. Again, I love watching the uh, interplay of uh, dog's language. From the verbal cues to a subtle raising of the lips or the hackles on the back to the verbal ones. You can see right now, Gulu's got her hackles all puffed up. And you can see, compared to some of the videos uh, when I was doing group feedings, uh, you know, a couple months back, Wrecker is now matured. He's uh, 12 months old, and he isn't challenging and messing with the big dogs as much when they're eating because he's been taught by them that that's not acceptable within the pack, that that behavior isn't wanted. And you can see now, he conducts himself much more respectfully in this video than say if you go back and you look at one of my pack feeding videos when he was eight or nine months old. And that just kind of shows some of the fruits of doing this. Or at least it shows the reason why I do it. Get crud all over your face, Wrecker.
Again, I love watching the interplay between them. Siblings getting frustrated because they want something else, but they know they can't take it from the big dogs. Again, that's the reason why we do this. We put them in these situations to let them establish and maintain a pack hierarchy. And then I'm here to step in if that needs to be done. Magi here trying to give me some kisses. You can have some kisses after I wipe you down. For those who ask, how do I clean the dogs up after this? Well, I wipe their faces down with a baby wipe and their paws, or sometimes I just clean them off with a little uh, water from the hose before that. If uh, they've got some gunk on them, and then I use the baby wipe. My dogs all do live in the house. Now again, you can see, if you've been following my channel for a while, just the change in behavior amongst these puppies here, you know, over the months that I've been doing that, and again, just how much more respectful they are as they eat with their back. some love. Finishing up the very last of it. Rector eats some of Kurgan's scraps. Well, there you have it. That was today's uh, pack bong exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below if you liked it a lot. You'll get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out. Help me grow. Feel free to share my links on other platforms, uh, Facebook, other places like that I'm not on. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. I'm uh, a bit humbled. I've been getting... Uh, five six hundred new ones a day lately welcome uh, I appreciate it I hope you enjoy the channel I've got uh, over 1200 uh, 
videos on the channel currently. I've got some very good playlists in my playlist section covering a variety of content. Take a look around. Enjoy. For those again who have questions about the raw diet, I've got links to everything you need to do it the right way. Again, that's all. Bye from me, Miss Magi, Wrecker, my homeboy, Mr. Kurgan, Ulu, and Mr. Lobo. He says, I want to go inside, Daddy.